morning, everybody. Yeah, so today we're gonna do a clean girl, Pinterest girl, it girl routine. Can't really call it a routine because I'm gonna do this once and see if I can implement it into a daily schedule. But I feel like this is what the girlies are doing to get them out of that winter depressive rut. So even though it's winter, I am in the most summery spring outfit that I actually went to bed in. So my life hack that I wanna give to the girlies is that I have this like mattress pad that I got off Amazon. There's functions on the control where you can heat up the pad so that you wake up in like this warm, cozy mattress. Sometimes I get a little hot, so I have to put it at like dial five. That's my hack. Anyway, we're gonna start our day with a workout routine and then we have a fun shoot day today. So it's gonna be an early morning, late night, not so late night, jam-packed day. I feel like a smart thing to do would be to fix my bed and open up my curtain so that I can just kind of like get my day sorted. And I'm gonna also, I don't know, like get a green juice later, a matcha. I don't know how matcha matcha became like the drink when people would used to talk so much shit about it. I'm like, okay, Two Face, all of a sudden switch it up and you love matcha because it's sage green, whatever. Starbucks matcha doesn't count. Gotta make it at home. So let's do that. I just gotta get some caffeine in my body and then we're gonna go to yoga. I've been loving core power. It's chill because it's heated inside and if you're lazy, you can just like go into child's pose and relax, which is what I do a lot of the time. But then there's also weights involved. So like three pound weights are nothing. You can do those. And there's squats. Like it's a mix of booty, abs, core, everything. Anyway, gonna start my day. Typically when I fix my bed, all I really do is like stand on my pillows and just spread this out. Getting some sun really helps with the mental health. Let's do some skincare and get ready for the day. I'm gonna do some quick and easy skincare, but I pour this to my hands and I pat this on. I think I'm a firm believer that skincare does help when you implement it into your routine, but I'm not sure if doing it at 12 years old is really helpful. But now that we're in our 20s, it's really important to set yourself up for success. The glazing fluid. I love the moisturizers. The spoon. Gives it this like super dewy finish. All finished. The next step, I think, is to do one of those slick hairstyles. I think that's what a lot of girlies do before a workout because it keeps everything out of your face. I'm kind of breaking out, so I need to find some like pimple patches as well. If you guys are new to my page, welcome. My name is Isa. Basically, for context, my full time job is like content creation and social media. So I'm having a shoot later on. So before anyone asks any question about like, why are you here? or how did this opportunity arise? I have been posting on social media consistently since the pandemic, which was 2020. And I didn't start this YouTube channel officially until 2022 when I first moved to New York. My main job is Instagram, which is right here if you guys are interested no pressure, but that is what I focus on. And then I film vlogs for fun. It's just a nice way to show behind the scenes of the life because sometimes it's hard to manage doing both, I guess. I have a lot of friends who do Instagram full-time or YouTube full-time and props to everybody who does both because this stuff is hard. As I was explaining that, my camera died and I slicked back my hair and found little pimple patches. So I'm gonna try to tame these baby hairs. We're on our clean girl bull It's so here we go, little cutie workout set. We're changed into the clean girl set. It's like this really pretty lilac purple top, but since it's freezing, we're gonna put on a sweatsuit. So I'm gonna go with the pastels and continue. This baby blue sweatpant, I'm adding this matching hoodie over. I wanna say that this is what like a gym bag should have. Honestly, kind of cute. Nope. Okay, okay, pop off. Okay, we have to go to the class now, but putting this all into my gym bag.
up. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't sweat through this. I'm gonna go into Manhattan after this so I can get ready for my day. Turn on this headband from MEJ. So now we have my makeup bag. I'm gonna reapply some deodorant. I'm also going to wash my face. this glow recipe face mist and you can't forget sunscreens may i use some sunscreen oh i'm gonna try to do like hearts or something that is not a heart i don't mind. can't smell like it, so i have this perfume that's solid it's one of my favorite hand creams Wow, doing this actually really changes your mindset. Like I actually don't feel like a bum coming out. I feel like a girly Pinterest hop. Okay. I just took my shower after working out and I brought out all of my pink themed makeup so that I could do like a little strawberry makeup tutorial, attempt, whatever we should call it. My hair dries pretty quickly, I think because it's not on the really thick side, but I'm gonna use these makeup clips that I got from MEJ. In case you guys are wondering, why does this girl have so much shit? Well, it's because thankfully, and I'm very grateful that it's from work. So I actually did a shoot with them in LA a month ago and it was for this collection. And they gave me a bunch of stuff to take home. Do like a really, really clean base because I have to go on set later. And then I use this glossy brush. If you haven't seen like the strawberry makeup, basically, I think it was Hailey Bieber who did like this pink makeup tutorial on her Instagram. The strawberry part of this is like how blushy it looks from like your cheeks to your eyes. So I think the big part of this is using, oh, not the competitors, not the girls beefing. Well, it's teamwork today, guys. Sorry, Selena, sorry, Haley. You gotta work together. So I'm gonna like kind of blend it into my eyes. This is also a blush that I'm using. There's a little snowflake on it, how cute. And then this is like my affordable savior palette. I'm gonna take my handy Japanese mascara. This is a brown one, so I think it'll be really subtle. And the most important part is doing like the dewy finish. So I'm gonna use this bomb stick from Chanel. And this is what makes it like really, really, really dewy. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I feel like a fairy princess. I think what makes it extra strawberry-like are the faux freckles. So I'm gonna just dot a couple random black dots with my eyebrow pencil. Can we actually talk about how this makeup is actually giving in a way? Shout out to you, Broad, and all the products because I actually really love it. I could see myself doing this again. I love the fro freckles, the glowy matching moment, and the lippy, the shimmery eye. Kind of like a westernized version of Doyen makeup, in my opinion. But I didn't do any liner. I think because like you were supposed to look glowy and tan, that's what differentiates it from typical Asian beauty standard makeup, but I'm kind of obsessed. I feel like that girl. But as you can see, there's like a tiny bit of clutter on the side, so I'll do a little decluttering moment soon. Mm. Matcha at home tastes so much better than when it's $8. You get used to this life. If you're one of these girlies, hit my line.
let's be friends i need this motivation to be doing the most every day because that's how you guys slay so hard let's get on with the day i'm so excited for my shoot so this is clearly looking very plain so i'm gonna add some jewelry i also want to thank monica venatter for sponsoring this video i genuinely reach for this jewelry almost every day and i'll show you why see i have like all my other jewelry because like i use this as a travel case but i wore this when i was home and all of the pieces are just such high quality i remember when i was following them in high school because i saw kendall jenner modeled for them and she slayed but this is like the 18k gold vermeil bangle i like to stack this with this bangle and it's also 18k gold i think these are also in a really reasonable price range for how beautiful it looks. These range from 195 to 395, but even then, like the quality is impeccable. I just love it. It gives you like that really bougie vibe, which I feel like is what like the clean girl gives. And I also have these lovely rings. I just add this one and then this one on my other ring finger. And it's gorgeous. You guys can use my code actually, isasunk20 for 20% off if you guys are interested in getting some bougie it girl vibe jewelry yourself. Confidence up, slayification up, embarrassment up too. He saw me filming myself. Just trying to show you guys the city girl life. City girls up. to bring my bone broth outside but apparently right now all the it girls are drinking bone broth if you guys don't know bone broth has its origins from chinese medicine so bu if you guys have seen in my taiwan vlog is what this comes from because there's just so many medicinal benefits but now it's like been westernized so you can buy it in like a mug this is kind of low-key overpriced being an it girl kind of expensive i really like their juice inside so i'm excited to try this not bad it's called the Nona. It has chili, garlic, I guess that's it, and chicken broth. But honestly, the easiest way to do that is to buy a whole chicken and to just eat the meat and then cook the bones with water. And you cook it with like garlic, onions. If you want to feel healthy inside and out and not get sick, you don't have to come to overpriced stores in Soho to get it. But right now I'm waiting for a car to head over to my shoot later with Chanel Beauty. I think this is going to be the peak of me feeling like an it girl because everything that Chanel Beauty does is just so emphasized on skin and not putting too much makeup on so I have a really light face on and we're gonna get my hair done and just do like a fun day with all the other it girls Cashmere and Lucy so I'm excited to go with my friends and you guys can see a sneak peek before it's on insta so cheers really quickly I cannot scam you guys because I got scammed by this drink and I think it's like seven dollars for this fake bone broth it tastes like powder so if you're gonna get bone broth don't go to these white owned places y'all you gotta go to the authentic Asian owned broth, soup, noodles, get all those and you'll get way more health benefits than something in a packet. But the store's so cute though, so if you visit New York, check it out. the bags and the jewelry that we 
you can borrow. Everything is so cute. <gasps> and they have clip-on earrings. Wait, I'm so happy. How do they know? This is a dream come true. We have the makeup. This mirror is literally insane. It's so huge. Patrick and I are matching. Yeah, well, camera. I'm in, I'm in outfits. Oh, like the oh, we also have the same the black camera. and the red. Yeah, we do. Coco Chanel. Getting Lucy some flowers. She loves when there's little like coincidences when her name's on stuff. So it's a perfect florist shop. Where I put these? <laughs> I can take these. You got it? <laughs> <gasps> Shut up! Oh my god! Oh my god! This you did it such a cute job! All the snacks! You're insane! The balloons! So cute! Okay! Oh my god! <laughs> 